guys welcome back to my channel um today i'm just going to be filming some things that we've been doing throughout the week and um some things that i do on a regular basis today we have some projects one of them is planting some things for my garden um and i got this um at walmart for five bucks and so i just got one before for my other plants and it's doing really well so i decided to start my garden in it um because they're doing so well and i got this seed starting mix at walmart also it uh, looks pretty cool um so i'm going to plant some of my vegetables and the vegetables i have are sweet pepper i have this other sweet pepper which is an orange one um we eat so many sweet peppers here um tomatoes i have some early girl tomatoes that are already going that i got as plants during the greenhouse um, until things warm up a little bit more. Then I got zucchini because we go through a lot of zucchini and it's actually surprisingly expensive to buy at the store. Um, and then spinach and I also have lettuce um, that I already have planted out there that's doing really well. So hopefully these will do really well also. Um, and this thing is really cool because you take this out and then you plant your plants in here and then you put this on top. Um, after you water them and just let it sit in the greenhouse and actually you rarely have to water it and it does really well. As I said, the plants that are already in my greenhouse that are in this that I have, they're doing so good. So I decided I would give it a shot. Set that down there. Okay, so first things first, I like to just get my hands dirty. I am like a hands-on person. I'm just going to take this stuff and put it in all the little pockets. And I'm filming inside today because, um... Even though it's so sunny outside, uh, the cars that are going right next to our house because we live by a busy road are just almost too much. Uh, you guys wouldn't be able to hear me. I've tried filming outside before and it was just kind of a disaster, honestly. Um, this dirt is so fluffy. We got some super cheapy dirt at the store one time and it was just mostly bark chips. So um, if you're going to plant things, try to get the nicer stuff. You don't have to get the super expensive stuff, but kind of in the middle because the seeds kind of need uh, the fluffiness to grow because it's kind of hard for them to grow if it's just all wood chips, which is what the other stuff was, which was kind of annoying. But it'll be great for when the plants are bigger and we need filler dirt. That's what we'll use it for. So I'm kind of just, I'm not really packing this down a whole lot. I'm leaving it kind of aerated for now because when I put the seeds in, I'm going to be poking a hole and that will help pack it down and then I'll put some more dirt on top. Um, just fill this whole thing with dirt. I really love playing in the dirt. Walking barefoot outside in the grass is so therapeutic for me. The only downside is I am terrified of stepping on a bee. <laughs> it's true. I love walking outside but I get so scared I'm gonna step on a bee um, and I've only been stung once in my life and honestly it wasn't that bad but I just get it's one of those things you know I just get kind of nervous about but when there's not bees around like in the fall when they've all gone into hibernation I love walking barefoot and I try to do it in the summer after we mowed and there's no clover in the grass um, and it's just all okay so I have this all filled up with dirt, as you can see, so pretty. So now I'm going to do, 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 do. So first I'm gonna do some of these sweet peppers. I just rip it off. Um, these are pretty easy to grow. I am gonna put two, see they look like this. I'll come closer so you can see. They look just like the pepper seeds that you would get out of normal pepper. And you can probably use those if they're organic. Um, some of the ones, I'm just taking two seeds and putting them in each, and I'm just poking them in. Um, I can't really see that. I'll move the camera. I'll move this up a little bit. So basically, over here, I can show you what I'm doing. I'm just poking a little hole. It's probably about just that deep on my finger. You can see just like right there and then I'm putting the two seeds in it and just leaving it open so that I can see what ones I've done um, but yeah if you get organic ones then they should be fine for you can dry out the seeds and use those 
But the non-organic ones, sometimes they engineer those to not be able to reproduce, which is kind of frustrating because you would think, oh, hey, it'd be nice to actually grow my own food that I bought, but they don't. Um, so I'm going to take this other one and these peppers right next to it because I don't care if the red and orange get mixed. Oh, don't plant spicy peppers next to your bell peppers. I learned that one the hard way because uh, they cost pollinate and you get spicy peppers, just spicy peppers, unfortunately. Uh, that happened to us and we just had so many spicy peppers. <laughs> we made some salsa and stuff, but I was bummed because I love bell peppers and they just didn't get me. I was very bummed out. Okay, poking holes. Doo, 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 doo. Still can't see in the camera. I'm so sorry, guys. Here you are just watching me just put these seeds over into nothingness. Do, 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 do. And then over here, you guys can see better right there. Now you can see. I put a couple seeds in each hole. I am planting a lot of peppers because we have been trying to eat mostly vegetables. Like 90% of our diet is vegetables. And so now I'm just going over them and putting the dirt back on top and patting them down. Then when I'm all finished, I will water everything. We eat mostly vegetables. Uh, it's actually really good for fighting off cravings. Just eating a bunch of vegetables. Because I am a huge chip person. I don't know about you, but I could literally eat a whole bag of chips in one sitting. I just love chips. Okay, and this is where I go back and add a little bit of dirt if I need to. You want it to be almost to the top. Okay, so those two are done. Set them out of the way. So now I'm going to do my tomato plants. And if I get too many of these plants growing, I might just give them to my neighbors or give them to some friends. That's the beauty of plants is that this plant for planting seeds, if they all go, costs less than if I were to go to the store and buy some of this product. Okay, so these seeds are tomato seeds. Um, they look just like the tomato seeds you would find in a tomato. I always check when the seeds are small to make sure there's none still in there. So this is what tomato seeds look like. Let's zoom out a little bit so you guys can see. These are the pear tomato seeds. And I'm just going to plant them in the tray a few at a time. With the tomato seeds, I it's kind of hard to dish them out, so I just do like three in each hole. That way I have assurance that they're going to grow. It'd be nice to get a lot of tomatoes. I'm going to put a couple more over here because I was kind of sparse over there. Okay, and then I'm just going to cover these back up. Okay, those three are done. Now we have spinach to do. So I'm gonna just poke these holes ahead of time. I love having the dirt so fluffy. Feels like you're pushing into a cloud. It's kind of fun. So this is the spinach. These seeds are kind of funny. Like I expected spinach seeds to be so small. Oh, let me double check that there are no more spinach seeds in there. Nope, we're good. These are what spinach seeds look like. So when the plant blooms, uh, if you haven't picked your spinach on time, the plant will bloom and you will get uh, these little buds that will then turn into these seeds. And then they kind of just drop everywhere. So if you want spinach to come back every year, you can just leave the seeds. And the ones that don't rot over the winter will come back the next year. It's kind of fun. Um, which I would like a lot of spinach. And so... I'm going to do two rows of this stuff because spinach is good like in your shakes or for salads um, and I need to get um, some pest control like some soap and water for it because they also attract bugs so it's good if you want to just you can just go online and google it how to get rid of the bugs on your spinach plants because they really do attract a lot of bugs which is kind of annoying.
something therapeutic about planting things that are gonna grow, like starting new life. I just love it. Okay, now that I've planted them all, I can go back and add some more to the other ones. And the spinach, you don't have to worry too much about overcrowding them because they're just all leaves when they come up and then you just tear them off and then they keep growing. So you could just have more spinach. But you don't want to overcrowd them too much. And if you don't know like how to plant, that needs more dirt, how to plant things, uh, you can just look on the back of the package. It's actually super handy. They have these little uh, information. I'll show you on the zucchini. On the back of the plant, they'll tell you the days until they harvest, the row spacing, how far apart, the seed spacing, like how deep you sow them, and then how long it will take for them to actually like start growing, to actually start seeing greenery. So that's kind of fun. Okay, that one needs a little more dirt, it's kind of in caved. Okay, last row over here. I'll try to get it where you guys can see it. Do, 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 do. It's the squash. Zucchini. These zucchini seeds are huge, so I only need to do one. They're pretty big. I mean, it's just like the zucchini seeds. And I like grabbing my zucchini before they grow too big when they're like maybe that long and maybe like that big around. That's why I like to um, grab them. Because then they're a little more tender and they uh, cook easier. So that's just preference. You can also wait until they're big and then like cook it in the oven. But I really like to grab them when they're young and still super sweet and fresh. They tend to get a little more um, grainy and hard when they get bigger. And so I like them when they're still young and fresh. Okay, this one definitely needs more dirt. So then after you have planted all of your things, this has fertilizer in it. If you have dirt that does not have fertilizer in it, you can just uh, get some of the fertilizer you put in water, and when you water it, then you can add the fertilizer. So I have this really cool um, faucet that I'm going to show you that rolls out, and it has these two options on it. One is for the sprinkler option, one is for the straight option. So I'm just going to put this over on the sprinkler option. Turn on the sink very lightly and just give these a good soaking. You want to get them nice and wet but not super drenched. It's a bug that keeps hovering around me. Shoot! It's a nice and damp. So that's what kind of activates it, is the dampness and the dark. Having the fluffy soil helps it to kind of settle down with the water. It'll just kind of pack itself. Do, 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 do. Okay. That's about good. I'm going to go pop these in the greenhouse with my other things. Which if you haven't seen the inside of my greenhouse, go on to my uh, previous video I did last week. Not my vlog, but what I do every day and you'll get to see the inside of the greenhouse. This is a material we're going to use to put on this wall. I've already started doing some of it. We were using up some that we had before. We also need to do this other wall over here that has a ladder in front of it and some other things in the bathroom. But this is my experiment wall. I'm going to try it out and see how it goes. Here are the materials I'm going to be using. I'm no expert. This is my first time ever doing this. But I'm going to be trying this out and then for some other scraping and smoothing these ones out. Here is the beautiful product itself. It's kind of like the consistency of Greek yogurt. It's kind of gooey. It's kind of fun to play with. So what I'm doing is taking this scoop and just scooping out some of this scoop onto my, I don't know if it's called a trowel or what it's called. I'm just scooping it on and moving the excess. 
Then I'm coming over here, doing this at a slight angle, going up, and then going back over it to kind of loosen it out, flatten it so it's not as thick. I'm sure it'll look great when it's done, when I get this figured out. Okay, I have the bottom done, for the most part. I must say, definitely buy one of these. It makes smoothing out so much easier. We just tried with one of these little guys before, and it was a nightmare. So definitely buy yourself one of these. Now I have to tackle the top. Hopefully I can get some of this smooth out, because it's kind of rough. But I'm pretty, I'm almost satisfied with the bottom. Might do a little more smoothing out. So here is the wall, all done. Well, at least all the mudding put on. It looks pretty good, I think. Let's see if I can step back a little bit so you can see the whole thing. Turned out pretty well. Now I think we're just gonna end up either putting on another coat or sanding it down. We were pretty much just putting this mudding on, that way we could have a smooth coat so when we go to paint it, it's not like the OSB showing through. It looks more smooth so it'll match the rest of the place because we're going to put um, a finer plywood on the rest of the house and so the OSB didn't quite match. But we were just using the materials we had. So there's the project I did and I cleaned up everything, put it back away, cleaned up my tools. It's kind of a mess in here but Clean up all the drywall, putting it away, because that stuff is kind of a nuisance to get everywhere. Although it does clean up really well with water. So if you're doing drywalling, two things. One, clean up after yourself because it's super easy to clean. And two, go ahead and go do that project that you've been putting off because you think you can't. Uh, I have never done this before, and I think it turned out pretty good for a first-timer. What do you think?